My question is, uh, who are you? Who am I? I am all that is. You are all that is. There is only all that is. In your book, uh, you um, described a uh, experience as being infused with loving kindness. Oh, did I? Uh, was sure there... you're reading my book? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Loving... Liberation has nothing to do with goodness. Oh, okay. Or loving kindness. No, not at all. None of those dualistic ideas arise anymore. Hmm. This is the mind getting some sort of picture of what it's like to be enlightened. You know, the loving, beautiful, slow-moving, slow-talking, wise person that is very, very simple and listens to vegetarian music. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice story but it's meaningless it's bullshit so but in, in recognizing what is how is that going to relieve pain and suffering. No, no, it doesn't. Pain and suffering arises for no one. There is no one in the world that actually is suffering or in pain. But all the time there's an illusion of individuality then the individual believes that suffering is happening to them. That's the dream. Liberation is the realization that there's no one that anything is happening to. Things just happen. And death? No one dies. Who dies? Who's born? There's no one. There's no one standing there, so who's going to die? What, what ceases, apparently, in the manifestation, in the dream, what ceases to exist there is a body mind. At that point, there is oneness. Death, in that sense, is the end of an apparent story which is a search for oneness. When the story ends, there is oneness. But in fact, throughout the whole story, there is only oneness, only being. There's just someone there who thinks that they're, they're in a body that's looking for being. It is being pretending to be a seeker. Everybody in this room is simply pretending to be a seeker. Thank you. What I hear you say is that uh, there's nobody here, I'm not a person, all is one. That seems like an amazingly direct statement. I feel like I'm here and my heart is beating. Ah, oh, the heart's there, the body's there. But who, who is the one? Who's, where's the individual? Close your eyes right now, anybody in this room can do that. Close your eyes and look for you. Look for the one, look for the separate individual. Now, what, what is arising is sensation, is life, noise, heat in the body, whatever. There is no one in there that that's happening to. What is looking for one is one. What is, has closed its eyes and is looking for the individual is already oneness. You don't have to go anywhere to find it. You don't have to go and do anything. You don't have to go and meditate. You don't have to go and climb a mountain, you don't have to do anything. There is that which sees, that which knows. For everyone in this room, that which knows, is, knows they are sitting there listening to this. It is the knowing. It is the one that... <laughs> it's, uh, it sounds so amazingly simple. <laughs> <laughs> Too simple? The mind, you know, it's not really, it can't be just as simple as that, surely. It has to be very complicated. There have to be all sorts of levels of enlightenment and levels of approaching it. It's, the mind hates this because it is utterly simple. Of course it's utterly simple. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Totally simple and ordinary. It's no big deal. 
awakenings are happening a great deal in Europe in hearing this. And a lot that comes back is, it's no big deal. It's utterly obvious. All my life, I've looked for this, and I realize it always was this. Thank you. Is there any reason to make an effort to be kind? Who makes the effort? No one. But effort arises. Yes. It's fine. Effort arises, effort arises for no one. Come to see there's no one standing there. Come to see there's nobody who's ever made an effort. There's nobody who can make an effort right now. Effort happens. Yes. But all the time there's an idea that somebody can make an effort to achieve something, then there will be somebody there making an effort to achieve something. So if I walk out of the hall and there's someone injured and there appears to be a choice to help this person or not, an illusion, this choice, but it appears to be a choice, does it matter which choice? Not I'm at making? all. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. All is simply the expression of being. All is the divine expression. There's not one thing that's better than another. All there is, is this. Thank you. Hi. Hi, yeah. Part of me that isn't here wanted to say, I understand, but what I really wanted to say was just, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Tony. Your message seems to be an invalidation of all spiritual traditions and Absolutely. religions. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> well, I find that my mind is rebelling and my mind doesn't like this. No. Yeah. So the, the question is, if there's no one to wake up and there's nothing to do, then what are we doing here? <laughs> nothing. nothing. You can't get it wrong and you can't get it right. Whatever is happening is happening. It simply is this. That's the end of the search. It's all over. I mean, I know Matthew won't like me saying this, but you never need to go out there and buy another book. It's all over. What, what's the point of reading about something when reading it is the being? Being is reading a book about being. <laughs> but from my perspective, in the dream, there seems to be a difference between us. That's my perspective in the dream. Sure. It is either seen or it isn't seen. And all the time it isn't seen, then there seems to be a difference. Yeah. But not seeing is being not seeing. So both are the same. Not seeing is being? Not seeing. Being asleep and being awake are the same. It's just in the mind that we think there's a difference. We think one is better than the other. They are both the divine expression. But that's from the perspective of being awake. In the dream it looks different. Yeah. Hard luck. What's that? <laughs> Hard luck? <laughs> Hard luck. Hard luck. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello. From the moment you started talking, there seems to be an experience of utter delight with nothing else, of. utter delight. It's just totally delightful, and there's nothing else. In my dream, in my story, most of my friends are therapists, and all they do is really tell me what's wrong with me and hmm. make suggestions how I could change. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely irrelevant, isn't it? Oh, totally. <laughs> it's, it's just another reinforcement of the idea that there's somebody there that can become something, like, and forgive their mother and, you know, <laughs> and, got, and heal the wounded. Have you got heal the wounded child yet? Have uh, you got that? that was about 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> 
It's just, non it's just the mind. It's just the 